Newman with New Mount Olive Baptist Church, where my pastor is none other than Reverend Dr. Lavina Johnson Smith. I come to bring you words of encouragement that will carry you throughout the week. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you as humble as we know how, God. God, we come with thanksgiving in our heart, God. Thank you, God, for new mercies, God, new grace, God. We come, God, asking you to order our steps this week, God, that you will go in front of us, God, that you will keep us on the right pathway, Father, that we will not fall into diverse temptation, God, knowing that our steps will be ordered by you this week, God. God, as I bring this word of encouragement, Father God, I ask God in the name of Jesus that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, God, for you are my strength and my redeemer. Amen. The word of God coming from 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter, verses 21 through 25 from the Message Bible. And the word reads as such, God made my life complete when I place all the pieces before him. When I cleaned up my act, he gave me a fresh start. Indeed, I kept alert to God's ways. I have not taken God for granted. Every day I review the ways he works. I try not to miss a trick. I feel put back together and I'm watching my steps. God wrote the text of my life when I opened the book of my heart to his eyes. This is what God's word has to say for God's people today. And if I had to pick a topic, my theme would be the refreshing process as part of your divine reinvention. Here in the book of Samuel, Solomon discovers that a fulfilling life can only be built from having a relationship with God and knowing your purpose. First and foremost, this requires us to have a relationship established with God. And once that happens, we will discover our life purpose and his plan. God rewrote the text of our lives when we opened the book of our hearts to his eyes. Divine reinvention can be an intermission or a disruption, and sometimes they both may go hand in hand. God's desire is that we obtain mastery on this Christian journey. Your purpose makes God's plan for mankind more complete, and it will reveal something in you that is unique about God. Your purpose is why you are here. Your calling is your assignment. It is your mission and an area that God is recruiting you to complete. This will be part of your divine reinvention. Your gifts are your God-given endowment. They will give you life's purpose, life's focus. It will give you encouragement and the momentum to keep pressing forward. Your gifts to God's kingdom will help to clarify his plan for your life and help you to focus on the direction that God is calling you to walk in. Yes, sometimes there will be some unexpected disruptions and inconvenient moments, but the interruptions are necessary and is necessary for the course that God has for you in this life. And we know that quitting is not an option. Sometimes these can be life altering and defining moments for your purpose. Sometimes these disruptions are designed to realign you back to God, to elevate you 
and to propel you into becoming a stronger version of yourself and the reinvention period was necessary to align us back to the original intention of our creation. It is becoming new by removing the old and putting on the new. It is not changing who you are. It is about changing what you do so you can become better as who God created you to be, a better version of you. Think of it this way. Some of us are on a journey and we are being recalibrated so that we can take our purpose and our place as to where God has commanded us to be. And that is you. Don't you know sometime God will do some things that we'll say, oh, whoa, 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 God. Why are you taking me? Why are you taking me down that road, God? But are we trusting him? We are supposed to have that faith the size of a mustard seed. We are supposed to believe that God has a plan and he has a plan with your name attached to it. He said he knew you when you were in your mother's womb. He knew every strand of hair on your head. So sometimes we have to allow God to lead. Not sometimes, most of the time, all of the time. We must allow God to lead. We must take our hands off of things and God, let God move like nobody else can move. God has a purpose and a plan for our lives. And sometimes it requires us to be a realigned back to the mission that he is calling us to. Some of us have gotten off track. Some of us have gotten pulled to one side and God has said, no, 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 that's not where I want you to be. Therefore, I need to take you back. Some of us have made a detour because we weren't ready and we were still doing the things that we enjoy doing. But God said, no, it's time out for that. I need you to do this. Don't you know life is so short these days? We have less time in front of us than we have behind us. So it behooves us to allow this divine reinvention to take place in order for us to have a kingdom a place in God's kingdom. It behooves us to take our hands off of it and let God work it out. It behooves us to get into God's word so that we can be stronger in this faith, stronger in our faith, stronger in this walk called life. Take your hands off it this week and let God realign you for where he is calling you to be. Let him order your steps. He said, I know the plan. He has a plan for us. Take our hands off and let him work it out this week. Enjoy your week. Be blessed and have a great day in Jesus. Amen.